Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So um, today I would thought I'd show you all the books that I have read so far this year and it's only, well it's literally only just June but so far I have read so far I have read 10 books um, a lot of that's thanks to lockdown otherwise I probably wouldn't even have read 5 if none of this happened but um, yeah I thought I'd show you the books and what I thought about them so the first book that I finished was Vogue on Coco Chanel and this is by Bronwyn Crossgrave um, really good I talk about these books quite a lot they're like my favourite for learning about fashion designers uh, so I finished this one in January and then the next book I finished was Vogue on Ralph Lauren by Kathleen Braid Murray. Um, again, one of my favourite, like, Vogue on, favourite designer, really good. Um, I finished this in March before, you know, everything happened. It took me two months because I was still at uni. The next book um, is The Witch Doesn't Burn in this one by Amanda Lovelace. Um, it's the second one from what's the, her first. So her first book was print, The Princess Saves Herself in this one. And it's all like just like poetry, very similar to Milk and Honey. I spoke about this in my things I'm doing in lockdown video. And I finished this in April. And then it starts to get a bit like reading a lot of books at the same time because a lot of these books are different sorts of paces so next is the gaffer magazines which are like football and fashion together so this is the first one uh, you get a pick of different covers but I went for Emil Smith Rowe because he's my favourite footballer and yeah I really love these magazines and how they're set out so I finished this one in April so the second issue has got my Gemma on the front, um, again this is a really good magazine and I love it and actually from reading this issue I found out about one of my new favourite bands um, from here. And then, so I finished that in May um, but at the same time of reading that I was also reading After by Anna Todd. Um, because this is my friend's book and I was borrowing it but I still need to give it back to her um, but yeah this is such a good book and um, it was originally a Wattpad fanfic of Harry Styles um, which I read a long time ago and yeah I've seen the film a few times it's one of my faves I also finished that in May and then um, I read What I See by Brooklyn Beckham, which um, I've had for a long time. And it's just got, it's literally just a photography book, so it didn't take me long to finish this, which I finished in May. And yeah. And then I read This Modern Love by Will Derbyshire, which I've had for a while, always wanted to read. And it's all like love letters. Uh, to people who've either had crushes, um, going through the relationship, or like having a bad breakup, and literally just sending it into this book and reading about people's love stories and how they feel about each other, which is pretty cool. So I also finished that in May, and while I was reading both of these books, because they're quite easy books, and it's been quite nice weather I've been outside kind of tanning so I've been re I read uh, page two in the longest holiday which my favorite author I just love the way she writes um, this is such a good book and they're so easy to read you literally just can get lost in them so yeah I read that at the same time as the other two books which I also finished this in May and then the last book that I've read so far is Vogue on Jean-Paul Gaultier by Caroline Asam, 
Um, again, Vogon books, they're really good, very interested. I didn't really know much about Jean-Paul before and now it's kind of opened up a whole different perspective. And I finished this in June, which is now, finished it about a couple of days ago. So I've now moved on to my new book and that is Call Me By Your Name by Andre Aceman. I'm not sure how to say that. But um, I love this film, it's one of my favourites. The way like he's um, laid everything out and the way it's written is just so interesting to me and I love it already. But um, yeah, that is the book I'm reading so far. Probably will be finishing this at the end of the month, most likely. But um, yeah, that is all the books I've read so far this year and it is only June. I need to buy some more books, basically. I've got a list. Um, I have a list of ones to buy. I have 13 books I want to buy. Um, yeah, it's quite a long list. Probably will be longer. Probably will finish them by the end of this year, maybe. Maybe that's pushing it a bit much. But um, yeah, I just love reading. It's just such a good escape and you get to learn about different things, especially like in the fashion books and stuff. But um, yeah. That was today's video, um, I hope you guys enjoyed, don't forget to give it a like, comment and subscribe and I shall see you next week for a brand new one, bye!